Yo, welcome back to 7 days of elevating your music career. Where we are sharing some strategies to help you monetize your art. It's day 4. Today let's talk about marketing. What are the different ways that you can promote your music and which marketing channels are most effective within a small budget? I'd like to encourage you to look at marketing through two different lenses, marketing your music and marketing your brand. In a way, both are about storytelling, but think of your brand as the world that you create and the music as the various stories that make up that world. Marketing the music includes pitching your songs for DSP playlisting and sending it to other taste makers, digital creators, playlist curators, bloggers, press, radio, TV. Now, the logical follow-up question is, I know I have to do all this, but who do I reach out to and what do I say to get their attention? To start off with, artists should pitch their music via tools like Spotify for artists, Apple Music for artists and other tools at least 2 to 3 weeks before the song's release as basic hygiene. TuneCore also curates a bunch of playlists that artists can submit music to via the custom pitch forms and offers an accelerator program to help supercharge your audience growth. So, make sure to use these options to your advantage. As to the second question, how to get the taste maker's attention, we will touch on best practices for outreach in tomorrow's video, so make sure to check that out. Now, the biggest channel for discovery today is social media and short form video. So apart from just letting people and platforms know that your music is out through a last minute email or an out now post it is critical to have a well thought out and well executed content strategy it doesn't have to be dance videos build hype pre release and continuously tell people why they need to hear your music if you can't explain to someone why they should hear your music then that's the first thing you need to figure out I'd encourage people to watch YouTube videos of the rapper Tyler the Creator talking about this topic and also about how the author James Clear planned the promotion for his book Atomic Habits which went on to be a New York Times best seller. They both explain it way better than I'll be able to. Finally, non-music marketing or marketing your brand which includes partnerships and attracting new audiences through interest networks. This includes outreach and networking. What can you do apart from promoting your music to ensure that you are top of mind for potential partners and collaborators when a new opportunity comes up so that while you continue to release music your worth as an artist continues to grow so that you can charge more money the next time you play a show or sell merch or take on a client for that matter all the while tapping into new audiences and new communities with niche interests this is what brand building will help you achieve now don't forget Your brand is the world that you create both online and offline and the music is the stories that make that world interesting or relatable to existing and potential fans hope this helps tune in tomorrow for more